Alright 80s fans, today we're looking at a product that had a very long lifespan but really exploded in the 1980s and that is Bazooka Joe. Bazooka Joe is the small bite-sized gum that comes wrapped with a comic strip. This small candy has been around for almost 80 years, but it was first only called Bazooka Bubble Gum. The comic strips found inside at first would often vary in titles like Henry, Cracks and Jacks, and Doc Sorbones. Doc, you gotta help me. It hurts when I go like this. My diagnosis is don't do that. Oh. In the 1950s, Tops decided to rebrand their bubble gum with an official mascot by using the name of the company's president's son, merging it with the candy title, and adding an eye patch for pizzazz, Bazooka Joe was born. In a little rascals-like fashion, a gang of others were also created that Joe could pal around with. Girlfriend Janet, Brother Pesty, Walkie Talkie, Hungry Herman, and even his best friend Mort. Mort? Gosh, he reminds me of somebody. Well, hi ho there, neighbor! Oh, hey, Wilkins. Artist Wesley Morse ended up creating around 25 comics a year. These strips were composed of multiple panels of dialogue leading up to a cheesy gag at the end. Hey, Mort, where'd you get that black eye? You see that door over there? Yes. Well, I sure didn't! <laughs> the strip also offered other bonuses like fortunes. And by the 1970s, these fortunes began getting a little bit ridiculous. Alright men, time to suit up! And you there, time to grab your best bombs! Artist Wesley Morse worked on the comic for almost a full decade up until his death in 1963. Over that time he managed to knock out a few hundred strips that the company would slowly roll out and reused for many years that followed. This successful run even landed them a spot in a Viewmaster reel. Whoa, this 3D effect is so real! Don't fall off that tightrope, Joe! Oh no, he fell! Ah! By the time the 1980s rolled around, I myself had first stumbled onto the cool candy, which was right before Topps decided to give the comic its first real facelift. Bazooka Joe was drawn to be older, and he was given a whole new cast of characters to hang out with, like a new girlfriend, the girlfriend's friend, the greaser, the sister, and Mort, but gone was his trademark turtleneck and they kept numbering them so you could trade them with your friends. Whoa, number 7720? I don't have this one! The 1980s also brought out the best of the brand. Tops brought out new candy products like the Bazooka Joe Bubblegum Balls, Activity Pads, Maxi Pads, and three brand new flavors. There was grape, cherry, and a green apple. The company also added in some nifty Bazooka Joe branded prizes that you could send away for with money and proof of purchases. These included pins, dolls, and even pillows. Damn it, bedtime bear, get off my pillow! As cool as the 1980s were for Bazooka Joe, eventually the 1990s came in with a revamp that would bring untold horrors to the strip. A host of brand new characters were brought in to show just how scary the 1990s really were. Funky hairdos, crazy shades, and DJ Jazzy Jeff? My God help us all. The next few decades would bring in a few more revamps that would keep removing the series further from its roots. But recently, in a surprising move, Topps decided to release a brand new box set of bubblegum that features the original cast of characters once again. My god, it's magnificent. Well, kinda. The inside packaging is not really what I expected. What the hell's this? Where's my comic? Alright, well that was lame. Well, at least the box is cool. All right, guys, so how do I rate these? I used to love going to the candy store and picking these things up for about three cents back in the day. And when they came out with the three all new flavors, everybody I knew just went nuts for them. Now, I personally hated what they did with Bazooka Joe in the 1990s because I thought it was a nostalgic misstep. But as for the rest of the series, of course, I'm gonna have to give this my nostalgic overload stamp of approval. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. I'm gonna grab my keys and get out of here. Well, not again. Ah!